<laughs> are you kidding me? Uh, who you just saw is who you're seeing now. Tyler Peck is principal dancer, New York City Ballet, actress, fashion designer, choreographer, and you're amazing. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, you just told me before we got in the air that you were two and you knew that dancing would be your life. You, you were dancing it too. Yeah, my, my mother owned a dance studio, so I was kind of babysat down there. And um, who's that? <laughs> that's me. That's you. Yeah. Mm. And at the I, studio? At the studio, yeah. Those are, you know, the day we would have dance picture <laughs> picture day. And um, she I think just could tell from a very young age that I could just I had movement and you I had... could hear the music well. Um, musicality and you could tell them? I don't know if I could tell, she, she could. could tell. Yeah, I just loved dancing. And I, you know, I'd always try to sneak into the older kids' rooms, even though I was like much younger, but I was kind of always above my time. Yeah. So, you know, for those, of, I grew up, my mom is, uh, we used to have Swan Lake was all the time. Mm -hmm. And George Balanchine, big deal. But I see principal dancer, and I think I know what it means, but I don't, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. You are the principal dancer mm -hmm. of New York City Ballet. Mm -hmm. Define what that means. I think, yes, it does mean like seeing Swan Lake. I just made my debut in Swan Lake in October, and it was one of my most special things in my career. But I do think right now dance is having a moment, and we're trying to kind of, my main focus is to make it more accessible to a younger generation. Define that. Meaning, it's great that ballet is such an old art form and we have a, a very um, older audience who comes and they're subscribers. They appreciate the ballet. Yes, but I think it's our job to kind of educate the younger generation and get them into the ballet. So, you know, I'm always trying to do things. I just curated these shows in California um, this past summer and I called it Ballet Now. And it was, you know, mm. what do I think ballet means today? So I had a hip hop dancer. I had Michelle Dorans, this amazing tap dancer. Um, I had Bill Irwin come and I just wanted to show the mix of what I think it means to be a ballerina. And I don't think that it's just as easy as, you know, being the prima ballerina in Swan Lake or Sleeping Beauty. I think it means more today. Yeah, it's so interesting. Georgette, help me on this. A little bit later on, we have a representative from the, um, the Harlem. Arthur uh, Mitchell. Right, right? Yes. But, but again, we have a guest coming on who, who's gonna talk to us. He's gonna talk to us about making ballet accessible to certain communities that have historically may not have been exposed, if you will. Yeah. This is, this is personal for you. Yeah, I mean, it's it's my life. Because you had that opportunity. I'm sorry for interrupting. Uh, Bakersville, California, right? Mm -hmm. You had that opportunity. Yeah. Not everyone has that. No, I mean, you know, half the time when people ask me where I'm from and I say Bakersville, they don't even know <laughs> where it is. And they say, how did you end up in New York? And uh, by the way, am I wrong about this? 11, 11, you come to New York to do what? I did the Music Man on Broadway. 11. 11, yes. Uh, how? <laughs> Honestly, I got asked to come to audition, and the girl that I was taking over for was 18, and my mom said, you know, we'll just make it a trip. We'll go to New York. I had no, um, I really didn't think I was going to get it. We just planned a fun trip, and then I got the role, and I remember they said, you know, we want you to move to New York for a year, and my mom thought. You are 11. No way. Yeah. Uh, how does that work? Well, I said to her, what if I never get a Broadway show ever again and you didn't let me do it? You did. <laughs> I did. So you also learned how to manipulate. Well, <laughs> I wasn't See, trying I mean, to. You weren't thinking that. <laughs> no, I just really wanted the opportunity and I thought this may never come again. Wow. wow. Uh, by the way, Georgia, we have another clip. What is this? Dances oh, at Dances a Dances at a Gathering. By what is Jerome. it called again? I screwed it Dances up. Dances at a Gathering. Let's take a look. I screwed it up. But okay. It's <laughs> Who are you dancing with? That's Jared Engel, another principal dancer in the company. And, that, and that's from a ballet that we're going to be doing next season um, to celebrate Jerome Robbins. We're doing this huge celebration for him. Wow. For those of us, for, for those of us who have no idea the amount of practice, the amount of training that mm -hmm. it takes rehearsing to do that, 
Try. I think you'll be surprised. Um, so we start every day at 1030. And they can rehearse us from after that's class, where we warm up and we, you know, we have even though we're professionals, mm. we still have to train. So we take class and then they can rehearse us from 12 until 6 with an hour off. Um, half the time, I don't even get that hour off. Mm. And then if you have the show. So my hardest day would be 12 to 6 and then the show at 8. How much of what we see in you do you think, not that this is a percentage thing, is natural talent versus ridiculously hard work? Well, I think that I did always have, I was able to always retain choreography, like really fast. And you're a choreographer as well. Well, I'm, I'm choreographing for the first time this summer. Good for you. Yeah, I always choreographed at my mom's studio in Bakersfield. When I go home, I always help her. But this will be the first time that I'm actually doing it at um, a dance festival in Vail. Do you mind if I uh, talk about your work as a fashion designer? Sure. You are wearing, by the way, can we, can we, <laughs> can we get this shot, team? You are wearing your own design. Yeah, I, you know, I started thinking, I spend all of my time in dance attire, more than street clothes. So I thought, okay, if I'm going to be spending my entire days in a leotard, I want to make sure that it's one, like fashionable and two, that it's comfortable because we're in them all day long. So um, I started out, I had no idea if I would yeah, Sarah oh, Jessica oh, Parker oh, oh, oh. wore one. I recognize her. <laughs> yes. That's Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah, she she wore one of my, she calls them body suits. We call them leotards. But <laughs> I, I mean, that was a big thing for me to make sure that they could go from the dance room to then wear on the street. So um, she was actually like the first person to send me a picture of her wearing one. How creative are you? I don't know. I try to be creative. Ridiculous question, I know. But it just seems like art. It, it is all art for you, is it not? Yeah, I just I just love to dance, and I love to share that with um, the public, so. Make your pitch for folks who have never been to the ballet before. Tell them why they should come. I think it, like, when you go to the ballet, you can escape everything for that, for those two hours. So I think no matter what's happening in your life, you just get to go there, enjoy, and I think get moved, um, which is our hope. Well said. She is a Tyler Peck, principal dancer. One of the youngest, or if not the youngest? I was, uh, yeah. You were the youngest. Yeah. <laughs> and you're also modest. Uh, New York City Ballet, actress, fashion designer, choreographer, uh, came to Broadway, music man, 11. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well done. We'll be right back right after this. Perfectly orchestrated. In sync with your life. Hackensack Meridian Health is redefining how health and care come together. Because when everything works together, your world gets better. Hackensack Meridian Health. Life years ahead. Also brought to you by Delta Dental of New Jersey. And by New Jersey Sharing Network.